Pressure is coming. Borgay hangs in. Hit and dropped. Taken down by Jacob Manu. And they say the ball was out and ran out to the 50-yard line. Unbelievable play by the Arizona Wildcats. I said it before the play. You got to get pressure on them, and they do it. They get to the quarterback. What a nice job by the freshman. And coming over to knock it out was Jalen Harris. There was a scramble. It was picked up. Well, a pop in motion at the snap. Penix from a crowded pocket. That's batted up. That's intercepted. That's going the other way for six. Well, Penix pass was tipped at the line of scrimmage, JB. Come down for a touchdown. I want to say that ball goes, it does go off of Jackson's head. Jackson Kirkland, back of his helmet, popped up in the air. It's an easy, easy one for Jordan Clark to run in. The downside of having a 6'7 guard, I guess. Yes. You know, we talked with the coaching staff about Penix. Ashton Daniels, the quarterback. And a design run. Lost the football, picked up by Cal. Jackson Sermon will scoot it along. The scoop and score. Cal lead for the first time. Penalty marker is down back near the line of scrimmage. It is a good touchdown, and Cal leads for the first time today. Look, Daniels said it's trying to get out, get out on the perimeter. Ball is stripped, and then Cal does a good job, and Sermon does the rest by scooping and scoring. Play clock at two. He beats it. Swings it to the end zone. Limonius Craig out of bounds. Somehow caught it, but could not get a foot in. Limonius Craig trying to plead his case. <laughs> Referee saying, bro, I, I saw it. I don't need you to explain it to me. But he was open. I think in hindsight, maybe Shrout likes to get this ball off a little earlier or put less air on it. Oh, baby. That's a lot closer than I thought. Trusting his man coverage for a cross straight across the board. A oh, stunt by Washington State over the middle. It's Franklin. Troy Franklin will take it to the house. Touchdown, Ducks. 50 yards. The only thing, Tim, did they score too fast. <laughs> Touchdown passing today for Bo Nix. Well, all that aggression for cross, you can see him in the inside slot here against soft coverage. You got them guy turning his hips, and because you're able to turn him around, that's an easy route right there. No safety behind you because it's full cross. And they're gonna go for two. And you see that he shed that would be tackler, Jaden Hicks, and there was no one behind him. They move the, the chains there so the clock's going to stop. Gives them an opportunity to get to the line. Run another play without any time going away. They've got to score a touchdown. A field goal does them no good. It's caught! Incomplete! Trey Sean! It's a miracle touchdown! Beavers busting Stanford! An implausible finish. 56 yards. Watch this throw from Ben Branson. Yes, it's not the best one, but what do you do? You HBO help a brother out. Trey Sean Harrison. They say he's special with the ball in his hands, and he showed them why right there. Go Branson said, "Oh my goodness, <laughs> this man is incredible." Well, Pine fires, and that is broken up. Stanford, it is Jonathan McGill making the play, stepping in front of that pass and waving his hand goodbye. This stadium is stunned right now. Jaden Thomas working inside on the slot, and there's that guy again, Jonathan McGill. He showed up big all night long, making tackles, recovering fumbles, and on the biggest down of the ball game, he has Thomas man-to-man, -man. he drives, 
Called for a defensive pass interference earlier where he hit it a little bit early. This time a little bit more patient comes over with the left hand to knock the ball away. And there's the reaction of Notre Dame's head coach Marcus Freeman. Dialing up, man. Yep. Here it comes again. Game inside. Underneath he finds his man. Oh, that's how you make Beautiful it. Beautiful play. That's Logan Lawyer. <laughs> Logan Lawyer is going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Bruins, 70 yards. His fourth of the day in the air, fifth total. Lawyer's second touchdown of the season. Just a remarkable answer after being put behind the sticks on one of his worst plays of the day. Jones alongside. And there it is. USC has the lead. 58 minutes and change, and Jordan Addison is found. This is called the whole shot. Best throw from Caleb Williams to his target. Watch Ryan Cooper just misses it by literal inches. It's a whole shot. You're never supposed to throw it or complete it unless you're Jordan Addison, a receiver, and Caleb Williams, and are that confident in one and, another. And look at Rajon Wright's reaction. He said he was, was he passing off again? Was that? Yeah, yeah, he's passing off, saying, oh, okay, I got help over the top. You're basically doubling. Jordan Addison, you got help from the safety, but the safety was a hair late. For two in the lead. Rising up the middle. He's in. Utah leads. On the two point conversion, uh, the hero wears number seven. And the guy that grew up in Cali, watching this USC team and all its superstars, and that guy grew up in the shadows of the Coliseum as well, they know the foe they're facing. Kim Rising is unflappable. But Brandon Dorla's back in on the line. Penix, uncorks, middle of the field, on the hands of Polk, and he is out of here. There's a marker down. Back at the 14, and it looks like it's on the hit of Penix. Uh, well, there's the heme monster who's screaming. He's screaming unblocked here, and he has the QB in his sights. They protect quarterbacks. That's just a tad late, but how about Penix? He doesn't even flinch. Wade was out there at the quarterback position defending. Nice pick. Intercepting. Taken out of the air. It's Malinoa, Francisco can go. It's a pick six on Knicks. Today's game, the moment you see that call initially, you think it's going to be on the return team. And they smelled out a second play of the dollars there. That's just a scouting report pick right it, there. It really is. That's just reading and reaction. Knowing go uh, I just believe, Tim, he... he won that battle in the film study in midweek. Again, to be able to sit on that route and squat on it from that linebacker position, you expect the corner to react the way that he did.